Many this evening getting under the skin of the Ivy League, those eight old, definitely distinguished colleges that are known for their ivy-covered buildings and their sometimes superior attitudes to other colleges and universities, which often gets under the skin of people who went elsewhere. Yale University is 300 years old this year, and were you to visit its campus, you would see that it still has exotic clubhouses, which look like tombs where Yale's legendary secret societies meet. Their prestige and importance have largely evaporated, but the rituals are still a secret. And so when we heard that some enterprising characters had managed to spy on the famous Skull and Bone Society, well, we couldn't resist. Here's ABC's Dan Harris. The videotape provides a grainy glimpse into what appear to be the initiation rituals of a secret society that's been around since 1832, whose members have gone on to be leaders of Wall Street and the White House the Senate and the Supreme Court. They're sort of trying to scare the initiates, make them, uh, you know, disorient them, frighten them. New York Observer investigative reporter Ron Rosenbaum accompanied a team of Yale students who shot these pictures nine days ago. Rosenbaum's curiosity about skull and bones was permanently piqued when, as a classmate of George W. Bush, he lived right next to the tomb, the group's heavily fortified home. From their perch, Rosenbaum and his cohorts taped the tomb's courtyard. What they captured, they say, was initiates, known as neophytes, being forced to kiss a skull, then members performing a mock killing. It may look like your average fraternity nonsense, but Rosenbaum says it's not. Even though it may seem silly to us, it seems to mean something to them. And you can't argue with the success of Skull and Bones. True. Famous alums include senators, John Kerry and John Chafee, to name two, cabinet secretaries, such as Averill Harriman, and three presidents, William Taft, George Bush, and George W. Bush, who's been reluctant to talk about Skull and Bones. Does it still exist? Um, the thing is so secret, I'm not even sure it still exists. In recent years, by many accounts, the on-campus influence and allure of Skull and Bones has waned dramatically. And there is no proof that the rituals recently caught on videotape are the same ones performed by the current president. Still, Rosenbaum says the tape is a valuable artifact, an extremely rare view into the secret society that groomed the American ruling class for generations. Dan Harris, ABC News, New York. That's our report on World News Tonight. Don't forget Nightline.